They say the mother in my world has no pulse. They say the God I talk about is not the God people fear. They say the subject of race is no exception. They say I have difficulty with the surfaces, the echoes, the sudden, the no longer there. They say the shape of the crown on my head is only a narcosis of motherlessness. How does a poem begin? I'm no storyteller, only troubled. I'm not sad, nor inventive, nor magnetic. I am forgettable man and forgettable woman. I think a poem begins when I start looking for a poem. As soon as I want the poem, I just look and I mine for it everywhere. And I know that it just comes, it just, I, I almost, trust and believe that it'll come from doing that, and it always does. It's never let me down. In some ways, I feel like being a poet also means being able to go back and forward in time freely and freeze moments and frames that you've seen before and reanalyze them to understand them again. The poor wind returns from the mountains passes through the door and lights up around the fire. It wishes it were smaller to be held. It wishes it were heavier to stay when it pleases. When I became a poet, I was able to rewrite my own history. And that changed me on a psychological level. It allowed me to heal. These are my mother's letters, and the first one dates back to 2005. When I was 14, my father got a job offer from South Korea, and so my mother and my father moved to Seoul in South Korea, and they ended up staying there for nine years, and I stayed behind. I found myself getting into a lot of trouble, and I did whatever I could to harm myself, so that was a lot of a lot of drinking, a lot of drugs, um, things like bulimia and things like partying and then being malnourished and not taking care of myself. By then I had, you know, long since kind of let go of the idea of them ever coming back. But during that time, my mom would write me letters uh, every single week. These are where the teardrops are. They're tears from my younger self translating uh, old letters wet by my own tears was startling. What I found was love, you know, it was immense amounts of love um, that she had for me that I believed was not there. The wind is alone in every measure of aloneness. The wind is something to be left behind. A poem can access a person's psyche. It accesses their soul. It lends to challenging the self to think of compassion on a new level. They say, I will never have enough to lose. There is no judge, nor critic, nor author, nor poet that is my friend. Now is not the time to be timid or shy. Poets now have to collaborate and see themselves beyond the scope of poetry to say, I'm not only a poet, I'm a historian. I am a time mechanic. There is no death like the death of expectations after I dare to rear up and ripple language. Very few things in life give you the opportunity to support and feed your soul. And poetry is one of those things. They say, I write from a common sensibility that no one can admire more than poetry. They have tried to find something human in me. And it's no wonder that 
so many people across the world in, in times where they feel the most alone or they feel the most pain, they turn to poetry. Poetry will always be something to turn to.